So have you ever wondered why toy manufacturers have to put on these big labels with you know, product registration, model numbers, batch IDs, choking hazards, identification, where it's manufactured? Well, you might have guessed, because they have to. You see, governments around the world have created bodies and adopted standards to prevent toys and children's products from being created and sold without being properly tested. So you would think with a reasonable amount of government oversight that most toys would comply. Well, you see, the barrier to entry when testing for toys and other children's products is reasonably high. And if you're purchasing internationally, the manufacturer really is only obligated to test to their own standard, if at all. So what could they be testing for, you ask? Well, it really does depend on the product. But most standards will incorporate things like lead testing, any heavy metals, things like plastics and phthalates, and also mechanical testing for things that might break off and fit into your child's mouth. No big deal, you say. I bought my product at Walmart. What could go wrong? Check this out. This swimsuit was sold in Target and was recalled back in 2020 for posing choking and laceration hazards to children. The thing is, this was actually tested and the good thing is that they got it early and no one was seriously injured. This is why at Oakley and Maple we go over and above when testing our toys. You can check out our children's product certificates on our website using our product tracker. So if you receive your product in nothing more than a poly bag or cardboard box without any labeling whatsoever, at the very least the manufacturer is non-compliant and possibly haven't even tested the product at all. So do your research and make sure your toys are coming from a reputable manufacturer who's tested to the appropriate standard.